This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 14, Building an App, Image Scroll, or Puzzle 5. Play sound with keys. You may have noticed from the last couple of levels that the value of event.key is just a string, which is the name of the keys. As a result, you can check which key was pressed. Oh, that's awesome. With a simple conditional, right? This is a conditional statement here. For example, to check for a the press of the A key, you can write, and double equal sign is our equality operator, right? A single equal sign makes a new variable. So we're saying, hey, let's use our event parameter, event.key, event key property, and hey, does the key down equal A? And if so, we can run some code. Stutter code provided plays sounds whenever any key is pressed. That would drive your teacher or at least this teacher nuts. Use console.log to find out the value of event.key when the arrow key is pressed. Okay, add an if statement so the sound only plays when the up arrow key is pressed. Okay, let's hit run. There's a console log. Right. Okay, and then I have my, well, you can't hear my computer sound, but I can. Um, so you'll have to trust me. Play sound, we only want to use an if statement. But da uh, and then when do we want to play it? If the arrow key is pressed. Okay, so to do that, we're going to grab, well, we can actually just write it. What is my parameter? My parameter is event, right? And that's what holds all this information. So event.key equals equals, just like they did here, except it's not A, it's going to be the up key. And I think the up key is going to be like that. Um, at least that's what it was in the past. So we'll try it. Okay. And let me give this a shot. No sound, no sound. Again, you can't hear the sound, but... All right, ready? And it works. Awesome. So, yep, if statements can be tricky. We're going to be able to do so much with this. I'm pretty excited about it. Let's uh, keep going.